Hi, this is Chip Wood. I recently had to create these unusual text boxes in a tutorial. I had to use superscripts to create 90 degrees and square centimeters. I'm going to show you how I created those, made them transparent, and then dropped them into iMovie. I've already created my text in pages, and if you'd like to learn how to make superscripts or outlined text in pages, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the tutorial. I've already started with a very large point size, but let's blow it up to 200%. Now hit Command Shift 4 for a screenshot, and let's get a screenshot of this, and also of this. We'll collapse that. Let's open this first graphic, which we'll open in Preview. Click here to show tools. Over here on the left, we're going to use the Instant Alpha tool. Select that. In the image, click, drag, and hold for a bit. All of this area that you see is going to be made transparent. And we've got some extra areas in the 9, the 0, and the degree mark that will have to be done too. So release. And this creates those dotted lines that you see around the characters. Hit Command X. And do the same for the remaining spaces. Now the image is completely transparent. Command Save. If this window pops up, select Convert. Now let's do this one. And of course, I'll use the same procedure for this graphic as well. You've probably realized by now that this same method could be used to create a transparent logo. Now these are ready for use in an iMovie project. I have one queued up here. You can either hit Command-I for import, or simply drag them into the event pane. My first image, the 90 degrees, belongs with this image here, so I'm just going to drag it down and attach it, like that. Then double-click to bring up these options up here. And we'll switch this from Cutaway to Picture-in-Picture. Picture. And you can see now that it is transparent. So I'm just going to resize this. Click outside the box and apply the settings here. Now note here you can change the duration of the text box. Let's make it just over three seconds. And these two handles allow you to change the duration of the fade. Here you see the present rate of fade in and out. Let's change that. Drag these two handles to the edge and that will eliminate the fade. And here you see it pops up and out. Now let's drag the other text box to this clip. And once again, we go to Picture in Picture. We'll drag this here on top of this piece of acoustic foam and put it right on top of that. And Apply Settings. I'll eliminate the fade and we'll make it shorter. And you're all set. Now I'll show you how to create these symbols and text in Pages. Open a new document in Pages and select Format, Style. For best resolution, I'm using a very large point size, 200. The graphic is 90 degrees, so I'll type in 9, 0, and the shortcut for the degree symbol is Option, Shift, 8. So that one's fairly easy. However, with the graphic centimeters squared, you're going to enter CM, A2, go back, highlight it, and in the right-hand column, go to Advanced Tools, and change Baseline from Default to Superscript. And that's not quite high enough for my liking, so I'm going to move to Baseline Shift and move it up a little bit. Now we're going to change this text into white lettering with a black outline. Go to Format, Style, under Advanced Options, select Outline, use a thin line like this one here. Now go to Text Color and change it to white. If you find these tutorials helpful, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.